How you doing, everybody? Okay, got a couple emails, people asking me to throw up a video of uh, lightsabers, so it never occurred to me to do so. Um, doing it right now, but I'm using a digital camera. That's the only rear recorder I have, so quality's not going to be that great, so kind of bear with me on this. Okay, uh, first things first. Like I had said in the description, um, this is the activate lightsaber on and off. Now, you can go to, I think it was a uh, great flex shop. I had put the uh, link on the uh, computer or on the uh, listing for it. You can go there, you can get a push button. It's like a click button to replace the switch. It's really easy. It's uh, two wires. They side directly on the board to give instructions how to do so. Um, all you would do is put that in, press it up and down, uh, turn the lightsaber on and off. But because I don't have that, righty tidy lefty lefty. Now, this was what I was talking about. This is the Sith sound. It's a nice low hum to it. You have the D ring right on the bottom. I mean, the things. D ring's nice and tight on there. Doesn't wobble around. I mean, you hear how. You hear how sensitive this is. This has the bubble strip and not the circuit board. Um, I'll get into that in a second. You want to turn the unit off. There you go. Now, a couple things I wanted to point out. The glass eye. This is an aftermarket one. I'm sorry, this is the original one that came with it. Now, when you turn the unit on, Obviously, light comes through. I always keep this on and display it. Now, your blade will fit through here. The only problem is nothing secures the blade into place. So, eliminate that problem. What you have to do is you take this unit out. Oops, and I just dropped the other piece. I got this one. It's an aftermarket thumb screw or a set screw. From the outside it looks just like the original one. This screws directly into here if I can get this set up right with one hand without cross threading it. There we go. Now you don't get any light coming through it but that screw. Let me turn this off. That screw, if you look directly down, right at the bottom right there, you can see it. Right down in there. How it sticks up like that, that is what holds your blade into place. So you just loosen that up. You want to take your blade out also, two of these clips right there. You notice how this bottom part right there, when you press them together, makes it smaller and wider. That'll also kind of secure your blade in there a little bit too. Um, this obviously is coming with it now. This the test eye. This is the original base that it came with. The test eye went in right through the bottom like so and had this little spring thing that came with it kind of wedged in there. Now the only problem is I had to go with a thinner version, this. Reason being is because once you put the Gray Flex adapter in there which allows you to have your uh, holder and deep down in your, your optics, uh, this wider piece would not fit properly. Um, I just kept it and I'm also including it in there just because I'm a stickler for trying to keep things you know all together and everything. Now you want to change the batteries on it. All you do this pops up. You want to grab hold of the top part, you twist it. If you look down right here these two tabs, see 
see how that just opened up like that. Once it opens up, yeah, yeah see we're going to pull straight down now. These wires come right out. There you go. I just keep an O-ring around here, just kind of keep it from bouncing around inside of there. Four AAA batteries. That's all there is to it. Right there, there's your soundboard, which is all taped up. Uh, be a pain in the ass, but you're going to tape it. reason why it's taped like that, so it doesn't make any type of connections with anything else. Um, pops right back in there in place, and then... wire back in there. You just line up the holes, twist it, locks back down. Now what you can do, this will actually unscrew. If you don't like the bubble strip right here, you can actually buy, I believe Grayflex shop sells these also. Um, you can replace this with that little circuit board. There's uh, two different types. There's a one from, I want to say it's episode three, and then there's episode uh, five. They have the circuit board like that. Uh, Great Flex Shop will also sell, instead of you having to rotate the sign and off, it's a little push button switch. It runs off of, uh, gets soldered directly to your board. It's real simple. Uh, positive, negative. You just press the button, click it up, click it down, instead of having to rotate it back and forth. A couple things that I didn't list on it, which I found, which I'm actually going to include in it. Uh, I had bought this for my for this lightsaber. I never got around to putting it in. This is a vibrating sensor. Now, once this is soldered to the board, uh, the wire came off, which I'll solder back on. Black is negative, red's positive. Once this is hooked up inside of it, once you come in contact with something in a lightsaber. Like every time you go and you smack something with it, let's put the blade in because it's top sensitive. There we go. Every time you hit something like that, this is going to cause your lightsaber to vibrate all the way through. Um, this is another piece right here. This is a motion sensor. Or I'm sorry, a clash and shimmer sensor. Now, you can install this one of two ways. You can have this hooked up directly to the board itself. Do it that way. Every time you go and you hit something, come in contact with the lightsaber, when you get that that banging sound like that, that clashing, your blade is going to shimmer. Now, what a lot of people do is they have a button normally right, right around where the hand sit. So if you're holding it like this, you can kind of press the button like right maybe in between these two grips. Um, they have a small little button. They'll install somewhere on the blade or the hilt itself to where when you come in contact with another blade, you can press and hold the button down, and just like in the movies, you'll go and your blade's going to flicker, uh, you know, bright to dim, bright to dim, bright to dim, kind of get, hence the clash and shimmer effect. Um, both of these are really simple to hook up. Um, if you're not mechanical uh, inclined, which I wasn't either, uh, you go to Custom Saber Shop, which is where I learned how to basically put this whole thing together and all that. Um, Said I'm more into Transformers right now, uh, so I'm, this is the last lightsaber that I have left to sell. Also, too, uh, had a, another speaker that was left over, just kind of like a little backup one. Um, I include that in, not that I've ever had a problem with the, the speaker on here, but, whoops, uh, I keep it, I'm going to end up tossing it away, and I have no use for it. And ignore you screaming kid in my background, who would be my daughter who doesn't want to take a nap. Um, Right now, this is a regular uh, diffuser. Um, it's kind of hard to tell how bright this is because it's the middle of the day right now. Um, I'll go to a separate room. Hold on one second.